Ramadan has arrived and at a time where we may be upset because of the coronavirus that we won't be able to go to the mosque and pray taraweeh together let's put things into perspective and see what the Uyghur Muslims go through every Ramadan they are not able to fast they are not able to own Quran they cannot pray they cannot give their children Muslim names they are forced to drink alcohol and eat pork especially during the month of Ramadan shopkeepers are forced to sell alcohol and pork Uyghurs are not allowed to go to Hajj so any form of Islam is totally banned. Even saying Islamic phrases like Assalamu Alaikum, Subhanallah, forget about it. This will land you in a concentration camp. You may have seen in the media the vast concentration camps arbitrarily detaining Uyghur Muslims. These camps are the same, if not worse, than what happened to the Jews over 75 years ago. Yes, this is a Muslim Holocaust happening in 2020, where Muslims go through various forms of torture, like sterilization, gang rape of both both men and women sitting in tiger chairs for hours on end, interrogated for days, sleep deprivation. Children are also taken away and adopted off to Han Chinese families. This Ramadan, think about your Muslim brothers and sisters, the Uyghurs. While we are locked in our comfy homes, still allowed to practice, the Uyghur Muslims themselves can't even practice Islam in their own home because 1.1 million Chinese officials are forced to live with Uyghurs and monitor each and every move. Even the the ones that do end up dying in these camps, we don't get the body back. You will not be able to give a janazah because they cremate the bodies to hide the evidence of torture. Another issue, halal organ harvesting is where organs of Uyghur Muslims are taken and sold off to the highest bidders in the Middle East. Well, what can you do as a regular Muslim? We all have access to social media. Apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter are absolutely banned. Follow us on our page, Talk to East Turkestan. Follow our Twitter and share Share the work that we do. Do your bit. You have to ask yourself, why does the Chinese communist regime ban all those apps that I just mentioned? Because they want to hide the truth. They want to save face. We need to show the world just how murderous this Chinese regime actually is.